behind him. Gives you the time to kill Wonder as well. I think they're set up from a compositional standpoint, and also they have the right player on the victory. Oh, good side step again. That's the second time this game Q has gone nice. away. Equalizer comes out. Senkax flashes for the kill. How much will this hurt him later? We'll get one. Keeps throwing out those twin fangs, but now he's well, caught out. Ghost was used. Flash was used. Voyage. Oh, Abyssal Voyage is coming in for Mickey. He wants to buy Trap time. Two? He's delivered Trashy. Trashy's been jumped on by Wraith. The fight gets broken up. Gravity Field pulls Mickey back. What are they? They've they got the Crown. Wonder's gone on sideways. copy has been soloed out by Ruler. This is Messi. Shut down onto Crown. Gigantic gold swing. Wonder's looking forward. Bear on a rope. Locks Wraith. Pulls him back. Wonder gets popped from Skull. Ruler's looking for a kill to copy He's got blue buff. He's got skill shots for days. And Senkax is looking to run down him. Ambition. Gets a very good poison. Oh. Miasma, Twin Fang's gonna be needed. Sidesteps another. The Fangs come out and Senkak sinks it in. It's a four for Keep one. Go next plus. challenger. I don't have enough air if it does. Senkak continues to slither away. Throws out the poison. That's gonna slow Cube down. He's got no equalizer. My God, Wonders teleporting in. He's looking for more. Iceborne Gauntlet. Bear on Bear on the rope. Catches Ruler. Pulls him backwards. Skull gets popped. Rocket Pistol's gonna get needed. Cube goes golden. Roast Senkax. Turns him into a pair of shoes. A new challenger appears. Robby's oh. looking for more. Flash away. Mickey saves Cobby. Eats him up. Devours. Runs away. It's done. The fight is over. So bored that they haven't been seen yet. Ooh, they might find Methy when he passed down to the bottom lane or potentially just dive onto the Jin. Jin is all alone here. Here comes the slow macro. He pulls the aggro. Nothing for him to do. He can't do anything. Saves the summoners. But G2 a great coming. clean kill by G2. Here comes Trick. Here comes Smithy. Here comes Perks. Who he on the backside. The flash chasing. Who he wants in. Here's the tidal wave as well. The flash oh. does get him out of range. Who he's still staying alive. Here's the TP. And Darshan gets him. Expected the second kill for Counter Logic Gaming. Darshan right over the wall. They do use that TP we're talking about just as it comes off cooldown. That means though. Not they over yet. Guys. Use his and this is a four versus two. Here's the teleport. For expect. There's no put in the damage of Darshan getting low. He might die to the turret. Run more hit, but then still picked up trick. The snipe come back in after oh. a little bit overextended. One more hit will do it. Mitty will get the kill. He's trying to save it for expect, but Summoner Heal saves his life. But it is amazing how much support and honestly pressure INTZ are going to be under because they're not really the most favored team when you look at the CBLOL region, and they've got a lot of fans that they have to live up to because Brazil. They won a game two years ago. They won two games last year. That means the pressure's on to get three this year. Look at this. Macau going trading in at 1v2. Decent amount of damage to death, but the sustain will be up. Revolta. Revolta's here. He's Look got for those those summoners. Oh, he's solo. Oh, they this is going to be trouble. Death. That's a flashboard from Revolta. Death is down. Mako gets taken out by the resonating strike. INTZ get two. For all the praise we heaped on to Deft and Mako before, we have to give it right back to Macau and Jockster because they're the ones that set up that gank and Revolta just came to reap the rewards. Away ...and keep their health bar something that won't get them killed. But G2 now control the map a little bit more. CLG want back in though. They've got to slow on his Sven. Not gonna be a stun just yet here from the mid laner. Back again onto Mithy. His exhaust's gonna be up and he's gonna find a target. Mithy wearing down and it's two kills for Counter Logic Gaming. Expect free engages cannot find Darshan and that's four already. Perks the last one alive. There's the stun! Oh! He's gonna take him down! The ace for Counter Logic Gaming as they run down the mid lane to win the first game of the World Championship! DL! Yeah, exactly right. They wanted to contest the red buff. They wanted to get it off Deft, but he shows just how good he is on the Ezreal. Able to get all the poke damage down, chip them away. Finally, Pawn does pull the trigger. It's one of the reasons I do like him, is now Revolta and Yang looking for Def. Oh, Def just got a lot of damage to play with. Revolta, oh, Revolta. fancies it onto Maiko, looks for Def, kicks Def backwards, and Yang gets the red buff, turns his attention to Maiko. Maiko's on 200 HP, Wallop, oh, no! Yang gets a goal, sends one into EDG, and Baron might be the target. Yeah, 100%, all of a sudden, the duo lane out of EDG is dead, and it's still 20 second death time, as this should be a free Baron set up for the CB LOL squad. For uh, the first camp steal of the game.
exactly. Really smart play. Kuro shoves up, as you mentioned, puts the ward down. Now they can track PvP Stehos, who comes in late to the fight. But still, Peanut's not liking this battle. Look at the Ooh. damage output. He's almost dead. This Wait, can go. first blood. Exhaust comes in. Suddenly, Kuro's here. And Smeb has already rotated down as well. smurf has got to show up soon. The flash to get away. Peanut still gets control over the Raptors. And I think uh, Rox actually came out ahead here. Well, yeah, Smurf. Smeb is the... This is the taunt, goes back for the trade oh! again. Stay looking for to get hit more damage, and he might bring him down. Smith flashes, gets away from the buckshot. But here comes Peanut over the wall, looking to find this one, gets it now. The taunt's not going to mean much, and gets, uh, gets himself first blood, and oh, here's the chase. The Ooh, jumps over the wall, good repel. The taunt's going to land into Kuro, though. How much more do they have? He's Try low. to the last little bit in, and it's two kills for Elvis Knox. Talk about being ready. Firm control over that river area, and now Revolta can maybe look for that kick that we keep talking about, but EDG just playing this so patiently. Take a look at this, Arrow comes they out, Kula. connects onto Clear Love, Tidal Wave is cancelled by Jockster, Revolta finds the Sonic Wave, Deft is alone, Clear Love's down, 5v4, Spawn's looking for Tokas, Tokas running for his life, Tangle Pool was used, good knock, Mouse is out, there's no more damage to follow up, Horde's running for his life, they've traded one for three. But Tokas gets the shutdown, and they turn for Baron. That is almost exactly what INTZ needed to do. The Ash Arrow was true. They heavily focused on it, Clear Love. And then when Pod tried to enter the back line, the entire team came to peel. It's a three for one. They're still going to have the advantage. But if this gets to 90,000 to 80,000, that's when it's not going to matter anymore, and EDG will effectively be caught up. Oh, Look at this. Oh, flash forward. Yeah! Just so easy. Player of the game right now, Yang, sets up by Revolta, but he's carrying it home. Yang has just solo killed the best jungler in the world at 41 minutes in. But also, you have to wonder what the best jungler in the world is doing there. That's why he's there was quotation marks. He's pushing the inhibitor there. He's trying to keep the minion wave at bay, but they do not have vision. EDG is out of sword. That got done. Oh, the Ash Arrow finds they it. Got him. Left is down. Revolta's looking for more. Doesn't use the dragon Check. blade. Does this time round. Death gets caught. Unleashed power onto Mako. INTZ, they may have done it. They've got a four on two, and they're looking at the Nexus. 19 kills to 12, 42 minutes. It seems like it was stretching out, but this is gonna be it! San Francisco is going crazy! Brazil scored the biggest goal of the tournament so far! They're taking down the LPL, and Brazil has done it! Their first game in the groups, and I'm willing to say this is a bigger upset than Kaboom. Even though Alliance was the number one team in Europe, this was the number one team from the LPL, power ranked by many as the second best team in the tournament.